It's been an interesting year. It was interesting to turn 30. I definitely cried on my birthday. Taurus Sun, Gemini Rising, Leo Moon. Let me take you way back. Lightning stricken cactus and it starts to rain. The smell of steamed asphalt since it novocaine. Nature's brew. I'm getting ready for an interview with Anna Gregert. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name correctly. She is from Hunker Home. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Feeling kind of nervous, feeling very rushed. I just had my friend Anna stop by to drop off some tools that we had ordered together online. And she dropped off this speckled mug. Look at this handle, so cute. And it's full of Saskatoon berries from her tree, which is so nice. And I also got another very special thing from her that I will, I'm gonna unwrap it after the interview because I already am feeling a little bit like, Speak with me, it's so great to meet you IRL. Oh my gosh, yeah. Thanks for getting in touch. I've been looking forward to it today. It's been like a very like sweaty, chaotic day. I'm get to that interview. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, good, cause same. It's also been sweaty and chaotic. So I, I feel you, I get it. I mean, a lot of people use nature elements, but I feel like you have a special connection and that comes through in your pieces. Oh, thank you. Somehow, magic, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I was still working for the Canadian Wildlife Service when I took my first pottery class actually in Oakville. It was just on my list of things to try. I think that was 20, 2014 or 2015, so it's been a yeah. while. I just started um, doing ceramics full time in 2020. Whoa, yeah. was, like right before the pandemic started or like were you in the thick of the pandemic when you Right watched? before the pandemic started. Isn't that how it goes? Oh, I started watching your YouTube channel. Oh. How, what does your zone look like? Do you have music playing? Do you watch Men in Black every time? <laughs> that was in one of your videos. <laughs> That's so funny. Now I know you actually be, watched it. <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, so that was your zone. You're like, I literally can create without watching Men in Black. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks different from day to day. I'd say music a lot of the time. Sometimes I'm watching other YouTube artists um, yeah. do their thing. In your shared space, you had other artists work. Mm -hmm. As inspiration, what do you currently have in your space as like a point of inspiration or just like something beautiful to look at? Oh my gosh. I can yeah. show you around real quick if you're... Please. It's a little messy though right now, just letting oh. you know. Do you have like a goal or an intention when it comes to your work that you produce? Is there something that you... When you're creating, you're like, I hope that the people who receive this feel this way or think of this. That's a really good question. At the end of the day, I just want the person receiving a piece to to feel connected to it and to feel like like butterflies yes. when they get it or when they open it or when they're using it and just feel like it's my special mug, it's my special piece because I have work from other services that so that's how I feel about it. Like I yeah. go pick up my mug for the morning to have my coffee and I'm just like, ooh. Like I think of the person when I take it off the shelf, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna drink out of Anna's mug today. And I just feel yeah. connected to that person in a way. Yeah. Um, I want people to be happy when they look at it. Yeah. When, they, or when they're holding it. Just cool way of putting it. Just connecting with people through something, you know, as simple as quote unquote simple as like a mug. It really brings us all together. Yeah, well that's really the joy of handmade too because I mean, all my plates and all my mugs are by artists I either know or just like artists I admire and I don't know you do feel a connection with that every time you use them versus like my partner when I stay at his place like he just has like crate and barrel dishes and stuff yeah. and I'm just like cool like it's still nice and like I still use it it's great but it's it's definitely evokes a different feeling I would say yeah especially nowadays when so many people feel so isolated and yeah. I was just talking this morning. I'm excited for markets to potentially be coming back here, like local markets, because seeing people in person and having people come like hold and look at your work, there's just no feeling like it. Like it doesn't compare to selling online and I'm just really hopeful that, you know, holiday markets will be a thing again safely. Yes. We can do it. You should be totally proud of yourself. I'm um, excited to share. Thank you so much. Um I have my camera on actually. I was gonna say do you wanna say hi to YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> Yay! That was 
I think one of the best Zoom interview calls I've ever had. That was just so fun and like, I felt like I was just chatting with an old friend, which is so cool. We've never met before, but, and if you're watching this, that was so great. Thanks for having me and thanks for holding space for me. I also wanted to show you, like I was saying, the uh, piece that I bought from my friend recently. You can probably see it in the background. Look at this goblet. It's so beautiful. It actually matches my outfit. Pink, green, white, orange. It's my new favorite thing. My new cherished favorite thing in the studio. And I also dropped off a couple things that I ordered through Sounding Stone, which is another ceramic shop um, that you can order from online here in the prairies. I think they're in Saskatchewan. I don't know. I got a diamond core sander, finally. I've seen so many people recommend these, so many other ceramicists using them for sanding their work after it's been fired. And I go through a ton of sandpaper. I have a lot of stuff that's made with them, that speckled clay that can be quite rough if you don't sand it. And then I also am trying out one of the um, diamond core tools, the V-tip carver. But apparently these are really great if you're cutting into bone dry, which I will be, because I let everything dry out way too much, um, then you wear it on the tip quite quickly. But I'm gonna get through these pieces and then I'll just try to use it on uh, greenware that's only leather hard from here on out. But yeah, I'm excited to see how it works. I actually already have this mug that I started to paint. This is a Jamaican scene, just like a nice little ocean scene. There'll be a little boat sailboat on there. Yeah, I'm gonna carve like around, around everything and kind of outline it. Make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life, the simple times in the Arizona thunder, the Arizona thunder tonight. It's all behind ya Mirage of agua The stars above ya The creature's days To nocturnal days Makes you forget About all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder Satisfy the times And make you wonder About the bigger picture in your life The simple Thursday now this week I guess I must have packed it with things because I knew I'd be back from our vacation but um, I just did a little shoot with a friend Ben for Camp Brand Goods's blog and I think by the time this video is up the blog feature will be up so I'll link it down below it's just like a super short interview with like photo dump style photos sprinkled throughout. Um, I just did like a little bit of throwing in one of the shirts, some trimming. I put on some handles of some mugs that I'm really excited about. And these are for the show as well, but they might carry into like my regular lineup for um, as far as I can see into the future. This is one of the shirts I got from the shoot that I got to keep. This is very on brand for me because the back is just a big old daisy. Yeah, lots of exciting things happening this week. I'm going to the first show that we'll have here in the boutique. I'm really excited. I'm excited to see people out and about and yeah, just check out the art. I've already peeked into there to see what they're doing. We got the whole Squiggle family here and we'll see if they all stay attached. I ended up doing some pieces for the show in my classic in balance tumbler style, just in black and white. These blossoms and daisies mean a lot to me. My grandmother's name was Daisy. My aunt who helped raise me, her name is Blossom. And I think it all ties together and it is something I'm familiar with and is definitely my style, but just in a different color way um, and using a clay that I don't typically use. And a big reason for putting on this show was to experiment with different colors and different techniques and yeah, different surface applications. So I don't think it's gonna end up stretching as far as I want it. I want it. Open 
vlogging at all really because things have just been crazy getting ready for the show. I have three videos in Final Cut Pro right now that I'm still just chopping up and like I just haven't had any time. All my admin stuff has just gone to the wayside. But anyway, I wanted to share, uh, I got some new postcards to put in with orders and some new business cards. I'm, uh, I just got into the studio. I'm like feeling a little bit manic. But I had a credit with Vistaprint and I had like a discount code for 20% off, I think. So I ended up getting them through Vistaprint. I'm also, fingers crossed, getting some zines printed for the actual show. And those I will get locally printed because, yeah, I think there's just like something really nice about having something for a local show. Locally printed, obviously, you want to support your local businesses. I got a different size than I typically get. Oh, they're cute. Oh, they're like a little bit. Oh my God. <laughs> Misprint on my part. There's like a random black dot in the corner. Oh no, and it's on all of them. But you know what? We're not gonna waste these. Like, they're perfectly fine. Ho ho ho, what a time to make a mistake because I got a print of like 500 of them, which I typically only do like 200 at a time. And I don't ever usually use photos, but this time I just really liked the look of this. This is kind of what the front page of my website looks like right now. You know what? It's fine. We're just gonna go with it. I don't know, would this bug you if there was like a little dot on it? Probably. And then the back just says a little thank you and a little message and it has my website and my at on there. And then I got business cards. Now I'm kind of worried that the business cards are gonna be not show. I'd say the quality of these is not great. I, I normally get the four by six and they're usually thicker than this, I would say. So I'm kind of like meh about that right now. I'm like not to shit on this print, but the business card's thick. Again, the quality's just like okay, but I think these turned out really cute. And the back is just my ad. I drew this gal like a year ago. I used to put her in the end of my, like the end credits of my YouTube videos and just with like a thank you for watching. I'm sure by the time I actually post this, uh, hopefully I'll be in a much better headspace by then.